but there's no something like Venice, like in the world, like it's different. Like it was not created like design on a table, like a new city or plan. Like it, it just grow up in the middle of the lagoon with his own architecture, history, language. Venice mean to me? Um, a very um, old city, the, the, the meeting point between east and west, the riches of the Silk Road, um, and millions of tourists, um, and a kind of modern day Disneyland <laughs> for <laughs> adults. Drive, yeah. yeah. Too many tourists these days. But um, did you move here um, long ago? Or? No, no, I don't live. I live in Verona. Uh, I have some family here, um, so I come and visit every now and again, so quite just regularly. Here for the just here for today, yeah, yeah. Venice is a city. It's actually really near where I live because I'm about um, 40 minutes apart from here, yeah. and um, I used to come here once, twice per year but um, I've never seen it uh, I've never seen it really deep so yeah. it, it's a city near that um, I think I'm trying to discover now yeah. and it took a while do you feel as a tourist uh, yes I do even though you I really do <laughs> uh, it's unique uh, it's a uh, there is a, a way of uh, living uh, that is very um, uh, you 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 can meet persons uh, you can uh, you can walk uh, uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, um, way to com communicate also with persons perhaps yeah. more than in other many foreigners and uh, many yes, people also. from other countries also yeah Mm, for this reason, yes. But but you were born in in other um, in, in Italy as well. No, in France. Are ah, you from France? Yes, yes. Ah, I but speak I'm French. I'm Italian. Ah, okay. My father is Italian. My mother was French. I work in a ship, uh, and we came here every seven days, every Sunday here. Mm -hmm. We arrive in the morning and we leave in the evening. And because I'm a photographer, I don't have to work these days, so I'm most of the time free, and I go out. And today actually is my last day in Venice. Just the season is already finishing. Mm -hmm. uh, where I am working in the ships eight years, and before I work in airlines, so I have been in around 90 countries. And you're from Peru? I am from Lima, from Peru, from yeah, the Lima. capital of Peru. In this um, period, uh, there are too many people, tourists. It's very difficult uh, uh, for Venetians uh, to live here now. Yeah. Uh, I am here uh, from uh, I have been here for uh, more than 30 years. I'm not Venetian. Like, uh, it's one of my favorite places in Italy. And uh, generally, I spend one weekend for a year here just to, to enjoy it. Because during just the vacation? Yeah, just, just for enjoy. Because every time I came, I came here, like I, I discover new places, new, new, thing, new interesting things. And also because I like the feeling of the night here in Venice, like there's yeah. a silence, uh, there, are, there is no, almost no tourists, uh, so you can really enjoy the city. I just, it's the city, you know, like it's so yeah. completely different from the others. If you go in the main, main spot, it's crowdy, and if you just move around the corner, there's nobody. Well, one day I was uh, walking around doing a video about uh, Venice, and then I, I saw um, like a small tent with people uh, asking for signs of people to sign and then, then I get in and they were trying I mean they are going to and possibly they are going to do it they are trying to avoid that the big ships came to Venice <laughs> and then I was talking with them about that and then I told them do you know where I, where do I work and what's the reason I'm here is because I work in one of those right, big yeah. ships so it was a very funny <laughs> very funny situation I mean I would describe it as a, p a place um, really overrun with tourists so um, I would say find the places that are off the um, tourist guide um, get lost go and s explore as many back streets as you can and, and it's um well, Venice is a very unique city you know has a things that any other city in the world has it that's that's very impressive 
I suggested people that came to Venice that probably if you can avoid, don't come in the high season. Because the high season is extremely, not only hot, but it's, there's too much people in here. Yeah. And Venice is, is not, you cannot feel it the same way as if you came in the shoulder seasons, you know, like a little before and a little after. In winter, I have been never in winter. I have been in Venice, not just this year, but many yeah. other years before. And even when I was a teenager backpacking in Europe, I came to Venice and everything. Mm. But because it's, I think that the way the city is, is not for so much people. It's yeah. beautiful, that's why mm. it's a lot of people. It's unique, that's why it's a lot of people. Everybody wants to come here. But if you really want to get the essence of Venice, you need to come in the shoulder season. Yeah. Well, it doesn't compare with anywhere because it's, it's, there's nowhere like it because of the water. But I mean, um, like other Italian cities, it's, they're all magical. They're all like a museum, a living and breathing museum. Um, so in that sense, it, it is similar to a place like Verona. But, um, definitely something a bit more special here. Venice is, um, is Venice. I yeah. mean, is um, a kind of special place, something like that. And um, so even if I'm not really far, yeah. um, is not is is nothing similar yeah. from what I see in my day life. It's a, it's a magical place like nowhere else in the world. It's it's a it's a one of a kind. Uh, uh, one of the one of the wonders of the world, but for sure you got to get away from uh, the tourist trail, and 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 it's it's beautiful, yeah.